Okay, my presentation would be a short overview of a social tool and approaches, and uh, as well as a quick update on where we are in improving the initial tool. And now we are about to release what we call the digital associate to make it more user-friendly and improve some of the features of the tool. <clears throat> uh, I think uh, to begin with, I would say a few words on, on the two words, continuous and improvement. Continuous means uh, doing things over time. And uh, it's not the one one shot intervention. It's a long process of uh, improving the way we do business. It requires a, a fully dedicated personnel to achieve our goal. And uh, it's required also a high level commitment of the senior management. You will understand when I will come later on. The second one is improvement. Improvement means or implies tomorrow will be better than today. So it's 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 progress uh, over time. And in that regard, unless you measure what you do, you are not able to ascertain improvement. So a measurement system needs to be in place. And that's why we are using the SOSHI as a framework uh, a tool for measurement for not only the Shishu project as a global project, but also at the country level to track progress over time as we move on. And in that regard, I think uh, the first thing to know is to know where we are. So setting baseline is necessary. The SOSHI would help set a baseline. And also we need to know where we when we know where we stand, we need to know where we are going. So we need to set realistic goal, achievable, and in a, in a reasonable time frame. Uh, the, the Japanese uh, call continuous improvement change for better because change uh, might mean improvement, might mean uh, relapse. So it's change for better, assuming that tomorrow will be better than today. So you see what I'm showing here, this is a continuous improvement over time. It is not a one-shot intervention. Having said that, I would come to the SOSHI Tool Assessment Toolkit, which has the user guide and the assessment sheet. Uh, the SOSHI Toolkit, uh, serve the following purpose. Number one, it has established a baseline for measurement in the sense that it helps us assess the strength and the weaknesses of all the domain component and subcomponent. Uh, where we know where we are, uh, it facilitates setting realistic goals uh, for an HIS to progress. And also with all those information in hand, we are fully informed to develop a realistic improvement plan to move to the uh, desired uh, status to our uh, strong HIs. Uh, the SOSHI user guide is a practical reference for anyone who is interested in implementing the SOSHI. It's a step-by-step -step instruction on how to implement it from initial stakeholder engagement through the dissemination of the result. And uh, you will see in a few weeks in a digital version of the tool, a revised and improved user guide that provide a lot of insight to the user to do a proper SOCI assessment. The audience, of course, is HIS people, uh, ME people, officers, and leaders who are interested in knowing where they are and how they can plan for improvement. In terms of methodology, the first thing to do is establishing a leadership team with key stakeholders. Could be people from the ministry, could be implementing partners or other agencies at the country level. 
people need to be oriented on to have a common understanding of the, the tool and to lead the process as you move. And we need to seek approval and buy-in from the ministry and have an agreement on which component of the HIS is being assessed. It could be the overall HIS, it could be also the routine health information system or a subsystem of the health programs. In order to do so, we need to know where we are. So identification and gathering of reference document for a desk review is quite necessary and the most. Making sure that the right people are involved. I'm talking when I say right people, the key HI stakeholder needs to be involved. Subject to matter expert needs to be identified and a role in that process. And uh, the desk review will take place using the resources we have identified previously and conduct an externally facilitated scholar meetings to make sure that uh, a small group are working on specific domain to come up with a consensus on where the country stand, assuming that the consensus is based on evidence, not on a rational thinking. That uh, assessment will help provide the score for the different component uh, to identify strength and weaknesses and try to develop an action plan. Uh, as you know, when you do uh, such an activities, you come up with a long list of possible interventions. Not everything can be done for many reasons. Sometimes we don't have the resources, sometimes the time is limited, and we need uh, uh, a lot of staff to do so many things. So prioritization is the key. I will come up to that later on on my presentation as well. Uh, the next slide is just summarizing what I just said. The step would go from setting a leadership team to planning for future improvement. Uh, going through these steps that I just outlined. You will see them, it's self-explanatory. I won't spend time on those. The next slide is pointing out the stages of continuous improvement. The tool is proposing five stages, landing from emerging to optimize, going through repeatable, define and manage. I will come into this and, uh, in the next slide. Just to summarize here, some of is so she help us to measure the HI status at the given time. When we know that we are in a position to set realistic goal for future HIS. Uh, to do that, we have to identify the HIS gaps and strength. And uh, from that, plan for a roadmap for improvement. Basically, we have five core domain. You have leadership and governance, management and workforce, ICT infrastructure, standard and interoperability, data quality and use. These five domains are broken down into component, 13 component, I believe you have to, you can read them for, the, for yourself, and 39 subcomponent. You have to remember that the assessment is focus on the subcomponent. When the subcomponent are assessed, the system will auto-generate an average score for the component. And from the component average score, the system will generate a score for the domain. So the main attention should be focused on the subcomponent. When they are really scored, everything else is auto-populated. To make it clear for people, I think there is a generic definition of the stage of continuous improvement. And I highlighted the most important part. Emerging means things are at the development stage, quite limited, the scope is quite limited, and uh, success depends on individual effort, not on collective approach. Uh, repeatable means Basic processes are in place and standard processes and functional capabilities are known. 
and uh, effort to document the processes are underway. But really, one step further uh, from the uh, 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 development stage, early development stage. Define means things are getting better and uh, guidelines and processes are approved, documented. Uh, I'm talking about documentation guidelines in relation to HIS project or activities. Knowledge sharing collaborations are increasing and innovative methods are being used for to extend the functional capabilities. When we reach the manage one, activities are under control using established processes, uh, requirement and processes are in place and detailed measures for process are collected. The optimize is a type of maintenance issues. We have progress over time. We are at the optimal level. That means best practices are being applied. Capacity of learning and adaptation exist. Experience and feedback are in place and to improve the process. And uh, we are anticipating, we are not waiting to be surprised. The system is quite ready to react in any uh, threat coming from outside. And processes also are in place uh, to ensure that relevant innovation are being incorporated. These are really generic definition just to set the stage in terms of the five stage of continuous improvement. When it's come to subcomponent, there is a refined definition. I just picked one as an example. If you take the strategic plan, uh, you will see that the, the definition of the stage are refined and tailored to the subcomponent. Here, the stage one would mean that we are at the early stage, is focused on small or short term and uh, without an overreaching strategy. If you move to the next step, you will see that now subject matter experts are involved, and but it's still focused on few topics. Uh, it's not including all the relevant activities. If you move to the stage three, the plan is including all the component. The processes are in place. All stakeholders are involved. It's aligned with the health sector strategic plan is formally approved by the Ministry of Health. The next stage is stage three plus costed approach. It's costed, regularly monitored and updated for corrective actions. When you come to stage five, it's already costed, aligned with the ministry, but we are doing a continuous improvement to maintain the system, making sure it's being responsive to the changing of health needs and priorities to reflect the health sector plan and the mini plan. So you see for every single subcomponent, you have a specific definition of if stage. You have to stick on those when you do the assessment, and make sure you have the evidence to support your scoring. Uh, just to sum up on the SOCHI one, I would say SOCHI must be conducted through a collaborative and transparent process. If we fail to do it in a collaborative and transparent way, we are preparing to fail. In that regard, involvement of all relevant key stakeholders and an early engagement of the leadership team is critical for a successful assessment. Number three, scoring must be done through a consensus building, leaning out of on evidence base, not on rational thinking. You need to have the evidence to support your scoring. If you don't have the evidence, the score is not supported, so it will be disregarded. And finally, we need to keep in mind SOCHI is not only a planning tool, it's also a management tool, as well as a monitoring tool. We can use it to plan, to track progress over time, and at some point in time to see where we are after a certain time. So it's an evaluation tool as well. It's help identify the strength, weaknesses, set baseline, and set realistic target, develop 
a roadmap and track progress over time in achieving our ultimate goal. Having said that, I will move to the overview of the digital tool. As you know, up to now, we are using a Excel base, which is quite nice, but uh, uh, we realize that we can, we are in a position to improve it. So we built on existing initiative, a measure evaluation project developed previously, a digital tool on DHIS2, but it has never been tested nor implemented. And we found also that uh, the visualization was lacking for the subcomponent, which has the foundation of the assessment. So we attempted to develop, to finalize it, but for some reason we ended up picking a Drupal platform rather than the DHS2. So I will tell you this quickly, some improvement that we made. The layout, an example of few features of the digital tool, uh, provide a list of the complete package and uh, tell you in one slide on the upcoming task and the potential implication on project implementation. It will be quick, don't worry. In terms of uh, improvement, the first thing target was to improve the visualization. Now we have visual for the subcomponent. We also added the gender table analysis. As you know, in everything we do, gender consideration is essential. It's a cross-cutting issues. We identify the key places where gender is uh, approached on the SOCI tool, and we develop a table that will automatically populate it when you do your assessment. Uh, you will see- uh, it, Yes? Sorry, information, it's under three minutes. Okay, I'm almost done. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, uh, there is a gender table to give you where you are and put you in a position to address the gender gap. We formalize the prioritization. Prioritization is essential, otherwise the planning process won't be effective. We improve seriously the user guide, which is combined within the tool, but we have a separate deliverable. We suppress the average score because we are misleading, because people keep sticking on the average rather than building the consensus. And we also added a multi-step consensus building approach to solidify the initial consensus building with small group. And also we ease the use and uh, we have a potential of documentation of previous assessment. These are just a few uh, layout of the tool. Uh, this is the enrollment on the tool. This is the hub of the assessment. You have a domain here to do the self-assessment, the consensus building, and the link for assembling the improvement roadmap. These are some example of dashboard from the subcomponent where you to, could attach the evidence to support your scoring. Uh, we have also a way of doing a drill down. Let's say for instance, you have subcomponent here. If you click on this one, it will give you the detail uh, on this component. You have them here, If you, like something like that. Same thing here, if you click on this blue, you will get a broken down result for the subcomponent. This is the gender table. Uh, you see the score 17%. That's mean for that specific assessment, HIS training is a gap. Uh, aggregated data exchange has a gap. Data synthesis has a gap and uh, 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 reporting and analytic features has a gap. So in planning, they need to make sure these gaps are being filled as well. This is just a summary of steps. Uh, this is the roadmap improvement and uh, uh, prioritization is key, as I said. First, you need to prioritize within each HIS domain. And second, you have to prioritize across HIS core domains. These are the matrix of prioritization we are providing to help guide the user to do a good prioritization. These are matrix of prioritization. And these are the package. We have a digital tool, which will be live at the end of September. We have a combined user guide embedded into the platform. We have a separate user guide and facilitator guide. We are preparing an audio uh, video for orientation, and we will be organizing in October at the latest a digital social webinar 
to better inform people about the tool. And this is the long term. Uh, we are trying to update the user guide on a regular basis. We are developing a distribution site to make sure country has the capability to use it in their own without relying on CSU. We are also updating the, updating the design uh, or as CSU visual identity continue. We are also planning for comparison across multiple assessments. Thank you very much.